folks are really doing. Um, thank you, Barbara. Uh, you've been a source of inspiration, always there at the town committee when we're dealing with any candidate. You've always been there. Your name has always been there. You're always there half an hour before any of us starts, <laughs> which is great. And um, Miguel, it's been, it's been great knowing you. And Keith, he's been my inspiration also on the city council. You know, we miss him dearly. We miss him a lot. Um, you know, as majority leader, he listened to people and, you know, he made a consensus and he called people and uh, that's one of the few things that I, you know, I learned from him. And Chris, of course, um, that was a long time ago when we were on the town committee and when we were, uh, when we were in Magali was there and we said, no, we're going to primary. We all got up and we walked outside and said, we're going to primary, we're going to primary, we're going to do this election. And those were so, uh, those were exciting times back then. And, and not to say that it's not exciting times now, but it's just like, my first, it, it just, your adrenaline starts to go and then you just want to say, man, this is what politics is all about. So I was always a behind the scenes person helping people. Uh, but when the opportunity came um, in 96 and 97 to be on the city council, <coughs> catch the bug and you know it's, it's there for a long time and then winning in 2005 again for the city council um, it's going to be sad when I leave because I really love the city council um, you meet so many people you go to a lot of events in the community you're always helping people people are always calling you sending you emails so it's, it's going to be sad um, but hopefully going to the state capitol is going to be my new Journey. So working with you know, Kathy and everybody has been great. I want to thank my family, you know, my friends, and, and the DTC, and especially Millie, uh, for being there uh, for my support and uh, the help that I received over the years. And uh, like Magali has also been an inspiration to me and a mentor in politics. Uh, there wasn't a place in Connecticut that Magali didn't know that I was always driving with her and all over the state. Um, it's going to be big shoes to fill. Chris has done wonderful things up there in, in the state capitol with the, with the state delegation and, and the former state senator, Tom, Tom Gaffney. I mean, he's worked on allowing employees to earn paid sick leave, saving our vote tech schools. These are just a couple of the things. Uh, we're fighting, always fighting for affordable health care. Um, allowing the cities and the towns and even nonprofits to join the state employee um, health care plan. That, that was a big thing. Uh, creating jobs, helping the environment, protecting domestic violence families. Uh, that's one of the things that I always followed with him. Uh, Children in the Recession Task Force, that was one of the task forces that, 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 that I sat on. Improving the West Main Corridor, which is in our district, uh, and the money he brought. We received a lot of money in Meriden uh, because of this delegation. Fifty-eight million to, to you know since last year, and it's gone up. And I want to continue to bring money to to Meriden. This is this is what we need. We need a, a delegation that's not going to say no. I'm not going to vote against it. I'm going to vote for it because it's in the benefit of Meriden. Meriden is what's in my heart, and that's what I'm going to look out for. So I'm going to fight for more flood control money, because we need that money. That's been a long time coming. I'm going to work for small business owners, uh, affordable health care for small business owners. It's very expensive, and there's a lot of small business owners that have to do without health care because they're, they're trying to make business in the community, and it's expensive for them. I want to work on job creation, looking more jobs to merit in, like like the Speaker of the House has done. But one of the things I want to do about job creation is also to bring more money for job retraining. There's a lot of people out there, their 40s and 50s, that are have a, a certain skill set, and we need to, when Connecticut works, we need to bring more money to retrain people so that they can use a certain skill set and just think about outside the box and using those skills to do other things in the community. 